Welcome to Star Wars Transmissions, I'm Dan. We'll be diving into spoilers for Light of the Jedi, The Rising Storm, and Kevin Scott's High Republic comic series, so get those booty cheeks out of here if you ain't trying to get anything spoiled. In both Charles Soule's Light of the Jedi and Daniel Jose Older's High Republic Adventures, we witness the Eye of the Nile, Markian Roe, possess one half of an ancient artifact while he scoured the galactic frontier for the other half. Up until the release of The Rising Storm, fans had no clue what the artifacts were that Roe possessed and sought or what they did. The Rising Storm, however, answered that question to some degree when we saw the introduction of the creature known as the Great Leveler, or simply the Leveler, during the novel's wild climactic ending. Although I'm still processing the absolute madness that was the conclusion of The Rising Storm, let's discuss what we know about the Great Leveler, what it is, what it does, and how it might be used moving forward. Before we dive into what the Leveler is, I first want to discuss the artifacts that Markian Roe possessed and came into possession of prior to the Leveler's introduction because those artifacts are important objects when discussing the leveler. Long before 232 BBY, an ancient rod was created in order to control the creature known as the Great Leveler. Due to the rod's use as a weapon, the rod was split into two pieces and hidden away by a group known as the Elders of the Path, who were a religious group which existed during the High Republic era that preached that the Force was like fire and that it should not be sensed by any living being. By the time of the novel Light of the Jedi in 232 BBY, one half of the rod found its way into the possession of Markian Roe, and with the Galactic Republic and Jedi Order expanding their domain into the Outer Rim, Roe sought vengeance against the Jedi Order over perceived wrongs done to his ancestors. Hoping to secure the other half of the ancient rod, Roe tracked down an elder of the Elders of the Path named Tromac and attempted to force him to reveal its location. Tromac refused, but his former ward, Crix Camarat, betrayed him and gave the information to Roe. With both halves of the rod in his possession, Roe then traveled to the planet Rystan with the Force-sensitive Talerte Udidis to obtain the being known as the Leveler. Once on Rystan, Markian's cousin Kufa helped the Nile find and acquire the Leveler, which had been trapped in ice within a shrine inside the caves of Rystan and was guarded by droid attendants since it was revered by Ro's ancestors. Once Ro found the Leveler, he killed both Kufa and Udidis, retrieved and contained the creature aboard his flagship, the Gaze Electric, and brought it back to the Nile base on the planet Grizzle. Although details about the Great Leveler are limited, we do know that it was a powerful creature that had the ability to overwhelm Force sensitives and nullify their connection to the Force, something that UD Dis experienced while in the ice caves on Rystan. It's not entirely clear at this time how the Great Leveler achieves this, but I'm hoping we'll learn more about the Great Leveler's abilities as more High Republic stories are released. We do know, however, that this creature was an entity which was designed to prey upon Force users, possessed claws, moved on four legs, and I got the sense that this bad boy was one huge bastard. After Markian Roe brought the Leveler aboard the Gaze Electric, still encased in ice, the Chadrafan Doctor, Kizma Uttersund, fabricated a heating rig to melt the ice block that trapped the being, as well as grafted a camera into the Leveler's back so that Roe could view the creature's movements. Sometime afterward, during a Jedi attack on the Nile's base on Grizzle, Roe assembled the two halves of the ancient rod he acquired to control the Leveler, freed the creature from the Gaze Electric, and sicked it upon the Jedi. Though Roe soon used the ancient rod to call the leveler back to the Gaze Electric, it left the Jedi Padawan Belzedifar overwhelmed and his Jedi Master Loading Great Storm turned to ash. Reading this in The Rising Storm left me shook and the novel concluded with Loading Great Storm dead and the Gaze Electric escaping the Jedi, so we don't know how Markian Roe plans to fully use the Great Leveler just yet. With that said, it's a safe bet that Roe plans to continue to use the leveler, his Nile forces, and their hyperspace paths to push the Republic and Jedi out of the Outer Rim while also attempting to destroy both completely. The Rising Storm definitely made it quite apparent that Markian Roe and his ancestors loathe the Jedi. I'm still holding out hope that the Sith Order has something to do with the Nile and the mayhem they're causing, and I can't help but wonder if the Great Leveler, as well as Markian Roe's species or ancestors, have something to do with the Sith. How cool would it be to find out that the Great Leveler had Sith origins and that Markian Roe's ancestors had something to do with the Sith? Pulling the Nile's strings from behind the scenes totally plays into the Sith Great Plan, and I would be 
so pumped if that were the case, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. So to recap, the Great Leveler was an entity which was designed to prey upon Force users. Markian Ro possesses it. It's controlled by two halves of an ancient rod. It overwhelms Force sensitives and nullifies their connection to the Force. And we learn that it has the ability to somehow turn Force sensitive beings and or beings in general into ash instantly. Yo, the Jedi are in for some serious trouble, my friends. Daniel Jose Older's new High Republic comic miniseries, Trail of Shadows, does seem like it's going to provide us with some information regarding the leveler, and I'm assuming Claudia Gray's High Republic novel, The Falling Star, will as well. In the latest issue of Kevin Scott's High Republic comic series, it appears that Lorna D may also have access to the leveler, or possibly a weaponized version of it. The issue concluded with her using something to overwhelm Jedi Knights Keeve Trennis and Tarek, and it appears that Tarek might have been turned to ash, or at least partially. If the Nile have figured out a way to weaponize the leveler, the Jedi will no doubt have their work cut out for them. Either way, the leveler is one badass creature, and I can't wait to see it appear in a High Republic story again. But what's your thoughts on the great leveler? How do you think Markeon Roll will use it moving forward? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at SW Transmissions. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.